hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber a warm welcome back in this video i'm going to be recommending five work bags from four brands one of the brands um, i'll be recommending two bags and the focus is very much on work bags you can use now and going forward if you watch this video a year from now two years three years you'll be able to find the bags because they're part of the core collection from the various brands i'll be recommending my focus very much is on um, your classic designs that would age um, of course functionality and the theme of my channel brands that are going to be uh, very much under the radar and packing a mighty quality punch I'm going to split the five bags into two videos because I don't want to make the video too intense and lengthy. I'm Anisu Sagonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things. Whether you're young and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, or you're into luxury but you want to focus more on the brands that operate under the radar and packing a mighty quality punch, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, then my content is very much geared towards you. I'm going to be focused on two brands, Anya Heinmosh and Loewe. I first spoke about these two brands in my hierarchy of handbags series and specifically the episode entitled Affordable Luxury. It was a two-part series and I know I upset a few people. Apologies. That's because I grouped two levels of luxury, affordable and your accessible core. I'm going to attach as well in this video, um, a video where I talk about the different levels of luxury. Please do watch it if you haven't watched it because it's applicable to any luxury video you watch on YouTube, not just mine. There are seven levels of luxury and each level of luxury, different variables influence a consumer. So for example, your everyday and your affordable luxury, it's very much about price first and foremost. Whereas as you go up, it becomes more about quality and price. So for example, Anya Heinmarsh is comfortably within your affordable luxury range. The majority of their bags are priced from about 300 pounds through to about 950. Whereas uh, Loewe, when I recorded the hierarchy of handbag series, they were at the top end of accessible core, so £1,500 and above. But their prices have gone up, the back of production costs, labor going up, and they're very comfortably within premium core. And that is bags that are priced from £1,500 through to £3,000. Bags in this range, consumers typically consider the quality first before the price. I'm going to kick off with Anya Heinmarsh. And Anya Heinmarsh, I described in my hierarchy of handbag series as a quirky quality brand. It's quirky in that they're bringing in a slightly different design aesthetic, their use of color, uh, their bespoke service in the industry. Very much welcome additions to the space. But they also have a couple of ranges of your more quirky bags, bags that are best described as wearable pieces of artwork. They're showstoppers, they're talking points, they're great for occasions, for your fancy dress, but they're very well made. They're stylish and they're great even for a grown up, someone my age, 45 and above, 50, 60, 70. You don't feel silly or you're carrying a bag that's silly, that's fickle, that's just um, to be used a couple of times and discarded. It's a very well made bag that'll stand the test of time. And that translates across all their bags. The work bag I'd like to recommend, aptly named uh, Working From Home Tote. It's priced at 550 pounds, comes in the color black, and it's made entirely of recycled nylon. I first spoke about nylon in my hierarchy of handbag series when I was recommending the pliage from Longchamp. A lot of people balked at the price of the pliage, the Longchamp, but it's an incredibly popular bag and that has done well for Longchamp. But think of the nylon from the pliage, but the Anya Heinmarsh working from home tote nylon is double the thickness of the pliage. It's thick, it's sumptuous, it's robust. Um, it's absolutely waterproof. If you were to be caught in a thunderstorm, for example, the contents of your bag wouldn't get wet. The water would literally run off your bag. Or if you spilled something on the bag, inside the bag, very easy to wipe and to dry. 
Um, fantastic work bag in that it's just so obviously a work bag. It has a compartment for absolutely everything you could possibly need if you are working from home and yet you want to keep everything contained, everything together. Or if you'd like a bag you take to work, you go once a week, every other week or whatever it may be, you have a bag that is able to contain everything. And then of course, if you're somebody who hot desks and you need a bag that has everything you could possibly need as you move from desk to desk, this is the perfect bag because it has compartments of what you could possibly need and all appropriately labeled. So there isn't the chance you'd ever miss or forget something. As long as you keep everything in the bag, you are fine. And then throw into that, um, it has the compartments on the outside, but on the inside, they've utilized the entire um, depth of the bag. The pockets on the inside of the bag run the entire way down the bag. So you have all of that capacity and they're all labeled inside as well as on the outside. Very simple design aesthetic. There isn't any fussy labels or big branding or logos. Anya is very much under the radar, as I, as I mentioned to the theme of my channel. But they want the quality, the craftsmanship, the functionality of the bag to really shine through. And all you get in terms of knowing it's Anya is you have a little bow on the side, another little bow behind one of the, con uh, the containers. And then, of course, their signature a tassel at the end of the zip. The hardware, they use YKK hardware, the very best brand. In the mid-tier, there isn't anyone that is... Um, as good a brand in the mid-tier as YKK. Great zips in terms of the movement, the opening, the closing, you're going to get mileage. That zip is going to last a long time. And then looking specifically at the craftsmanship, two things really stand out about this bag. The first is a concept I've just recently started talking about, the edge coating. They have leather trims all along the edges, uh, around the zips, the edges of the pockets and so forth, to protect those edges. The other thing is it's a fairly big bag, 46 centimeters in length, 27 centimeters in depth. It has the capacity to take a lot. They have reinforced the, the straps. They're incredibly thick, they're soft, uh, they're almost like a sponge. Uh, that you're holding a sponge, so you either hold them or if you have the bag on your shoulder, it sits very comfortably on your shoulder. That padding means it's very comfortable on your shoulder, even if it's incredibly heavy. And you have thought through everything you'd need for a work bag, uh, the bits you need, the compartments, they're all labeled, um, how to carry the bag, the comfort as it gets heavier, minimal labeling. It's all about the quality, the craftsmanship and the functionality of the bag that the focus is solely on. It's a bag that I highly recommend at home, all your bits are together or if you're traveling, keep everything packed in the bag and you're good to go. My second brand is Loewe, and I've spoken about Loewe in a number of previous videos, and I consistently say, I don't understand why this brand is so sleepy, considering the outstanding quality of their bags, the craftsmanship and the leathers, it's amazing. But a number of um, people online are helping to raise the visibility of the brand um, via the puzzle bag. So I guess let's watch the space, but it's very comfortably within the premium core alongside your big ticket aspirational brands such as Louis Vuitton, Givenchy, Fendi, you have Balenciaga, you have Gucci in there. And Loewe, in my opinion, is better than some of those brands for the quality of their leathers and the craftsmanship. It is truly an amazing brand that people are sleeping on. I just cannot say this enough. The two bags I'd like to recommend are bringing in a different style alternative to the equation. The first one, the small anagram tote is priced at 1,650 pounds. The second is the small hammock bag and it's priced at 2,150 pounds. The tote I like because it's different to what most people associate um, with being a tote. Um, it's usually the Louis Vuitton Neverfull or the Goya Saint Louis, both with floppy, um, both are floppy totes and they don't have structured sides. Whereas the Loewe one is coming in with a very mature, a very elegant tote solid sides, it's structured, it's in uh, one of their two calfskins that they typically use. Um, this is the, the more robust, you literally need to take a knife or a very sharp object to it. It's not going to scuff, it's not going to mark, it's not going to tear. It's your grained calfskin. 
very simple bag with the suede on the inside love the suede but the slight disadvantage with suede you have to be careful with it because suede soaks up stains it soaks up dirt and it's a light color the bag itself comes in five color options there's a saffron yellow a taupe a toffee this oatmeal color and then black minimal branding you have the the logo embossed on the front but unless you know loewe you just think it's some sort of fancy design detail then you have loewe written on the inside discreetly on a pocket that's um, full length all the way down split into two the beauty of this tote comes in the fact that it's structured it's like a bucket you can put in their laptops books uh, folders for example but what i really like and what stands out is the two strap you have four straps you have the two long ones if you want to carry it over the shoulder or you just want to carry the bag um, and you want the length but then the 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 second smaller straps are absolutely beautiful you're buying into that design that's what stands out for this bag they are smooth on the inside and then you have the pattern on the top also on the inside you have two tie two ties and you can tie the bag um, using a, a bow design any bow design detail that you'd like you can do whatever you'd like tie it lightly or um, quite tightly whatever you prefer you can do that but i like it because it's a more elegant a more mature take on a tote um, that's structured and just looks the part with the the woven handles my second bag is the small hammock and as i've mentioned before it very much gives your lindy bag vibes from hermes except it's a fraction of the weight the lindy bag typically comes in your togo or your torion le leather which are considerably heavier whereas the small hammock is much lighter coupled with the fact that the hardware that's used is light but it's very good quality and what i want to highlight about the bag I'm not going to go into the craftsmanship or the quality of the leathers because that's a done deal. This is something this is a brand that's assured quality. The leather that's used for this particular bag is the classic calfskin. It's robust. It's not going to scuff, tear or mark easily, but it's not as strong as the grained calfskin. But what I want to highlight are two other separate things. The first is it's a great bag in that it can be worn as a work bag, but it also works very well as a so as a bag socially. Professionally, you open out the bag into a rectangle and you can put anything, laptop, books, folders, files, whatever you'd like. You also have the option of the added space, pull down the zips on the side and the bag opens up even more. But looking at the bag socially, it can be worn, um, you bring in the sides and it's almost like a, uh, a little ball, you close up the bag or you have the option to open out the sides and um, you have a beautiful, almost fan shape very much depends on what you'd like to do but you can wear it socially dressed up dressed down or you can wear it professionally the other thing i wanted to highlight was the strap uh, you can wear the bag either carry the straps um, top handle um, an additional strap and you can wear it as a crossbody or over the shoulder the strap that comes with the bag has um, little slits with each hole uh, where you're able to adjust the length of the strap with each slit it means if the bag is heavy you're not putting pressure on the hole like you get with cheaper brands um, if the bag is heavy the pressure is, is placed on the on the belt where the adjustment is and it starts to stretch and it opens up the hole because you have that additional split that's put in you don't get that with this particular bag even if it's heavy you don't get the hole splitting like the brands that i talk about there's minimal branding and logo you see the motif um, around the bag strategically positioned in very discreet places it doesn't scream loewe at all the only way you know it's loewe is if you know the brand you know the range or you look inside or look very closely and you know the motif but it's an outstanding quality bag both the tote and the small hammock but three very different bags I've shown you. You have the nylon and then you have um, the calfskin, the classic calfskin and also the pebbled calfskin from Loewe. Different types of your work bags depending on what you like, your personal taste, your circumstances and of course your budget. Both brands packing mighty quality punches in their respective levels of luxury. Any other questions, as always, let me know in the comments down below. But don't forget to watch the second part for the other two brands.